Removal. Step 1. Remove air compressor fuse and raise vehicle. Keep the steering wheel set straight ahead. Locate and remove the air compressor fuse. Once the fuse is removed, raise the vehicle. Removal. Step 2. Disconnecting the airline and shock removal. Disconnect the airline. Remove the three shock top flange nuts. Remove the airline fitting. To do this, remove the collet and the remaining fitting will slide off of the air hose. Removal. Step 3. Wheel Removal Start by removing the wheel's lug nuts. Once the lug nuts are removed, carefully take off the wheel. Removal. Step 4. Disconnect Shock Control Disconnect the shock control cable connector located in the fender well. Removal. Step 5. Removing the shock assembly. After loosening the hardware, it may be necessary to use a floor jack to slightly raise the lower control arm in order to relieve the pressure from the upper and lower shock absorber bolts. Remove the control arm nut and separate the upper A arm. Disconnect the sway bar arm linkage. Remove the lower shock mount bolt and nut. Remove the wire harness mount from the shock. Finally, remove the shock. Install. Step 1. Place cap removal tool. Place the cap removal tool onto the studs of the top of the shock assembly. The bolt of the cap removal tool will rest on the center of the top cap. Install the three nuts that mount the shock to the vehicle on top of the cap removal tool. Evenly tighten the three nuts until the top cap moves downward. This will allow the retaining clip to be removed. Remove the cap removal tool. Install. Step 2. Remove the top cap. With the top cap pushed down, you may have to use a flat tip screwdriver to remove the retaining ring. Using a pair of locking pliers, remove the top cap. Install. Step 3. Remove the old air spring. Remove the nut holding the air sleeve to the shock. Remove the old air spring and O-rings and discard. Wipe down the area where the new air spring will sit. Install the shock cap onto the shock.
the cap will snap onto the shock. Install. Step 4. Installing the new air spring. Obtain the new air spring. Apply a lubricant to the O-rings in the bottom of the air spring and install onto the shock. Install lock nut onto the shaft of the shock and tighten to manufacturer specifications. With the nut secured properly, lubricate the O-ring before inserting the supplied cap. Place the clip on the top of the cap before reinstalling the supplied tool. Proceed to tighten the three nuts until the cap is pressed far enough inside of the air spring to securely seat the retaining clip. Make sure the spring is positioned with the lead stud opposite the coil, then insert the Voss air fitting. The air sleeve shock assembly is now complete. Install. Step 1. Shock installation and airline connection. Place shock into position. Install the three shock top mount nuts and tighten to manufacturer specifications. Remove the plastic pin from the air inlet fitting. Push air hose in until it locks into place. The airline should not pull out. Install. Step 2. Connecting the shock assembly. It may be necessary to use a floor jack to slightly raise the lower control arm to relieve the pressure from the upper and lower shock absorber bolts. Connect the sway bar linkage. Reinstall the lower shock nut and bolt. Install the nut and tighten to manufacturer's specifications. Connect the control arm to the upper A-frame. Install the nut and tighten to the manufacturer's specifications. Using a tie wrap, secure the wire harness mount to the shock. Install. Step 3. Reconnecting the shock control. Connect the air shock ADS control cable connector located in the fender well. Install. Step 4. Installing the tire. Install the tire and tighten all lug nuts to manufacturer's specifications. Install. Step 5. Completing the installation. Reinstall the air compressor fuse. Lower the vehicle to the standard vehicle height from the lifting platform. Start the engine, then wait two minutes. 
operate the raising function of the car's electronics. Initially lower the lifting platform slowly and only completely when the vehicle raises of its own accord. Installation completed. Congratulations. Lower the car to test drive and check the installation.